If you're an insurance firm, you're gonna have a lot of documents that you need to process for your business. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use documents with GPT to quickly extract data and then use automation to put it in your systems. I've already uploaded a certificate of insurance sample document. This information here is all sample data, so no need to worry that we're, we're not releasing any private information, just for the sake of this demonstration. The first thing you should notice is the upper left-hand corner, it does separate each page of the document individually. So you can shuffle through and see what is in the document, what is the contents, what's here. If you want to zoom in the document, you can click in this window and it will expand it so you can see the fields as well. In the upper right-hand corner, we can extract this information using an Excel. If you have developers, you can use JSON, or if you want text, you can do the text file. All of these fields, this extraction occurred automatically. It went through the entire document and decided that things like policy numbers, gender, and the birthplace, and business phones, these are important details to extract, and it happened automatically. There is a pencil tool that you can rename things, you can delete things. Now, here's, here's a key point. If you're an insurance firm, there's going to be documents that you're going to get within your business that are going to be consistent. So with this tool, you can create your own template. You can say, have 10 or 20 fields, and every time a form like this comes in, it pulls out the same relevant information consistently. And then what happens next is the automation will take this information and plug it in and put it into your systems. There might be a case where you want to interact with your document. What this means is you can chat and ask it questions. So this tool has made this document almost a living, breathing kind of thing where you can interact and ask it questions and find out things on the go. So we're gonna open the chat feature and test it out. On page one, there's the civil status, whether the person is married, single, divorced, those kind of things. So I'm gonna ask it here in the chat field, what is the civil status of the applicant? Let's see what the response is. The civil status of the applicant is married. Perfect, and you can see on the document here, civil status of applicant, citizen, it says married. So we can see it clearly that this is coming from the document, the information that's provided there. Let's do a few more. All right, what is the age of the applicant? It's a qualifying question. Your reps might need to know this in order to approve or deny their application. Age of the applicant is 45, great. And we can see it right there. It's clearly on under here, under the age of applicant the issuance. Let's do a few more. On page two, who is the primary beneficiary? All right. Primary beneficiary is Mary Smith. So it pulled out that relevant information based on which page it's on in the document. On page two, we also have how much the premium, the total premium cost. So what is the payable total amount premium? Payable total amount of the premium is 7,300. Well, let's see if that's there. All right. It's right there on the bottom. As you can see from this quick demonstration, you're not only able to pull out information and create a template, you can interact with it. Now, this is not something that you're gonna be doing personally. It is part of your overall automation strategy. What will happen is a bot or automation will work this tool and get that information, and then it will automate and put it into the systems that you need in real time. The next step is to register your company at openbots.ai. You get access for 30 days to the documents with GPT technology.